Okay, so from here you can you, you can see that sometimes even to display also it is not straightforward. Name, age, metric, sorry, name, address, metric is straightforward, but number of subject to be displayed you need to have you need to have this test. Uh, you need to test the condition of the attribute number of subject. Another thing, some of you might confuse why we didn't display the status. Okay, status is the method will return a value. It is not meant for display. Okay, I will explain later how you can make use a method which returns a value. Okay, another thing, you can see here for if now I put curly bracket. You know why? Why? Two statements. Here I put curly bracket. You know why? Three, more than one. Yeah. Here I don't put. You know why? Only one. One means it's okay if you don't put. Okay. So this is closing for the display method. Then the last curly bracket is closing for class. Class, huh? Okay. Any question? So you have implemented the six uh, operations, huh? Another one, the constructor. I need to explain. But before that, make sure you save, huh? Save. Save as what? The name of the class and name of the file must be the same. Save. Okay. No, no. You, you go to JDK first. No, no it's okay. Go, go to file. Save. Okay. Okay. Go to the. Ah, uh, correct. Go to C, right? C, Java. Sorry, program files. Java. J, JDK bin, the first folder. Okay, so now you are in the bin. Okay. The name of the class is student, right? S capital. So you must type exactly eh, as the name of the class student, stu yeah, yeah, dot java dot java. Save as type all files. Save. Yes, yes. So you have save as student.java. Okay, student.java because the name of the class is student. Make sure it's safe in bin. Eh? Don't save in another location. Of course, now you can save in bin, right? And then make sure you, cop you save one copy in your thumb drive because you need to transfer to your desktop. Okay, so in your desktop, just transfer to your bin directory eh, in your desktop. Okay, any question? Okay, so thanks. Eh? Uh, as well. Thanks. Okay, now I will show you. It's still not complete then eh, because we need to have another. Okay, if you see here, we have done with class name. This one we have done right. You have five uh, attributes. How many member methods? Six member methods. Eh? Six. You, now we have this one constructor. Okay, what's the difference between member method and constructor? Pardon? What's the difference? What's the difference between member method and constructor? Uh, this one, eh? we need to implement this one. This one's still pending. Normally, constructor try to put before you implement the member methods. Okay, don't put at the end. Eh? You put before the member methods. So it should be here. Okay, what's the difference between member methods and the constructor? Constructor, it has only one purpose. What's the purpose of constructor? To assign initial value. To the attributes. You know initial value? Nila awal. Okay? The initial value for the attributes. But before that, okay, can you put like this? For subject one, can you put equals to? Do you understand by this? What it means? Means initially the subject one has no empty, eh? subject two no name, subject three is no name. I just add this. Eh? I will explain why later. Okay, now I will show you how you can. Okay, normally in uh, object oriented programming, eh, when you declare a class, you must have a con uh, not must you. I mean you encourage to have a constructor in order to initialize the attributes. You need to give the initial value for the attributes. Uh, that is the good programming practice. Eh? Okay, now you type the constructor. Eh? Okay, the constructor is okay. Type public public student. 
don't put white, don't put any data type. Public white, okay. Okay, what is the value of name? What is the value of metric? What is the value of what? Addressed. And what is the initial value of number of subject? Okay. Now you see, you have five attributes. And out of these five, these four, you must specify the initial value. Otherwise, the student name will be unknown, right? Metric is unknown. You need to specify all these in the beginning. Okay? Okay, does constructor deals with the user? Yes or no? Yes, because the name you need to get from the user, right? Metric from the user. So it means you must have parameters. How many parameters? Three, four. Are you sure four? How many? No. Okay, number of subject initially is what? Initially is what? Zero, right? Okay, zero. It is when you I mean, when you define the class, you know number of subject. The initial value should be zero. zero. Means we can type zero here. No need to get the information from the user. Certain thing that the programmer knows can directly assign to the attribute as initial value. No need to wait from the user. How about these three? Can the programmer assign? Cannot. Uh, this one to capture from the user. So you need to have how many parameters? How many? Three, right? Yes. String. Okay, just put string n to represent the name. Uh, string what? Metric. Just put m. Then finally, string uh, a, d, d. Okay. Name is n. Metric is M. Address is A, D, D, D. Okay. For initial value, number of subject, no need to request from the user <coughs> because you as a programmer knows that it should be zero. The rest you need to ask from the user. <coughs> okay, make sure you save. Huh? Okay, this is constructor. Okay, how you know this is constructor? How you know this is constructor? <coughs> By looking at the name of the method. Like always remember, for constructor, easy to identify. The name of constructor, the name of the class must be the same. Class name is student. Means constructor name must be student. But another rule for, for constructor, the first rule, the name of the method and, sorry, the name of the constructor, the name of the class must be the same. First rule. Second rule, Constructor cannot return any value. You don't put return anything. Huh? If it doesn't return, it means it is white, right? Yeah. But don't put white. If you ask me why, that is the requirement of constructor. Okay, so three rules. Huh? First, the name of the constructor and the name of the class must be the same. Second rule, constructor cannot return a value, but at the same time, don't put white here. Okay? So now you can differentiate. Eh? So the purpose of constructor is only one, to assign initial value for the attributes. OK, how many attributes we have? Five. But how many that you initialize in constructor? Four. OK, okay I just simply because now subject one, subject two, subject three, you don't initialize here. You already initialize here when you declare the attributes. So since you have initialize when you declare the attributes for subject 1, subject 2, subject 3, you no need to redo again here in the constructor. Okay, the purpose I show this because when you declare a constructor, not all attributes that you need to give initial value. It depends sometimes. Okay, sometimes certain attributes you may give initial value when you declare. Sometimes certain values need to be captured from the user. So that's why sometimes some of you will say, so it means that for number of subject, you can put zero. 
here, then you take out here. Can or cannot? Also can. Okay. But can you do this for these three? No, cannot. cannot. Okay, whatever cannot, you put in constructor. Whatever that you can initialize when you declare, you put when you declare the attributes. No need to redo again in the constructor. Okay, that's why yeah? certain attributes you need to assign the initial value in the constructor. It means you need to capture the initial value from the user. Certain values can be initialized when you declare the attributes. Okay, so you need, you need to understand this. Huh? So what happens to the attributes that you already declared? Which one? The address. Which one? The update, is it? Yeah. Update, okay. When you call this constructor, now let's say you say address is EPO. Later, when you call update address, so this address become, let's say the new address is KL. So EPO, cancel, become okay. KL. Okay, another thing I want to ask you, uh, why you have update address? Because address can change, right? Because constructor is only called once when you create the object. After that, you cannot call the constructor. So later, if you have new address, you cannot call constructor. You, you need to call a normal method. Okay, that's why you have update address. You know why I don't have update metric and update name? That is fixed, permanent, right? Address can change. If address change, you cannot call constructor again. Constructor only can be called once when you create object, which I will show you later. Okay, if you don't understand, don't worry, yeah? I will show you later. Okay, so now you have a complete program. Huh? You have constructor plus six member methods. Huh? Okay, you save, then the next step is compile. You type cmd, enter, you go to that uh, directory, cd what cd? C, uh, got space right, program files, then cd what cd java right, then cd, j, jdk is it, jdk? 1.6.0. 0.0 underscore 23 huh? 23, 2, 3. okay then cd b b okay now i compile j compile in, uh, remember jawak name of the file is student dot java. java okay let us try eh? okay one error string name okay string should be capital right then you save, oh sorry. Then you compile again, you, no error. Okay, no error. Okay, can you run this program? No error means you can run. But my question is, can you run this program? Can you run this program? Can or cannot? Can, cannot. Can you run this program? Cannot find. No, it should be there. No, it should be there. Where's the... Ah, okay, you can go to C. Yeah, job. Go. Underscore. Okay. okay, can you execute this program? Can or cannot? Why cannot? You don't have main method. Always remember in Java, you only can run a program which has a main method. Last discussion, you run the program right, got main. This one, no main method. Java program can only be run if the program has main method. But does it mean that this class is useless? No. So how you can run this program? By creating object you need to create the object of this class and you do it in main method right uh, this is object oriented programming huh? so you have class here <coughs> no main so this is a, just a class definition if you want to make use this class you need to create object you need to do this in another file which has main method I will show you huh? okay that's correspond to our the second problem huh? 
Uh, this one. Once done, okay. Once done, test your class by creating the sorry, no, no, the creating two objects of this class, huh? By creating two objects of this class. So now you need to create two objects, huh? So now you have class. Of course, you can create object. Okay. Now I'll show you how you can create object, huh? Okay. This one, make sure you save, right? Okay. How many of you having error? Okay, if you got error, you need to do the correction. Eh? I think it could be spelling mistake. I mean, the small letter, capital letter, yes? Okay, now I want you to open a new notepad. Okay, if you have error, doesn't matter. Eh? Just uh, go to the new notepad. Okay, go to new notepad. Okay, just type class, class, new class, huh? class, because all Java program must have class, must start with class. Just put class test. Open curly bracket, close. Okay, now you type public, static, white, main. This one you need to memorize, huh? string what? String, ERGS. Okay, close for bra close bracket for the main. Okay, now this class has main method. Huh? Okay, you need to create object inside this main method. 